Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. It's Technique Tuesday and also time for another giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll tell you all about the giveaway and how to enter. But until then, I wanted to show you some, <laughs> well, lots of paints. These are Dilutions Acrylic Paints by Diane Reevely. Now, having all these paints makes me really wish I were a better artist but they are really fun and I've been watching a lot of videos about how she does things. So today I'm gonna to channel my inner Diane Reevely and make really my first ever tags. So let's, let's do this together, shall we? Um, these tags are amazing. Let me show you what they look like. I don't do a lot with tags, but I thought these would be kind of cool bookmarks. They're from Ranger, they're from Dilutions, and they are five and an eighth by 10 and a half inches they're quite large like bigger than most of the area i would use on a card but smaller than a scrapbook page so you know depends on what you want now again channeling diane she has multiple projects in different stages out on her craft table so that's what i'm gonna do this is science people i feel like to be like the great you must do exactly what they do okay so i'm gonna have two because what she does is she uses a lot of her excess paint for the next project Okay, we're gonna do this together. I've only painted seriously a handful of times. A lot of these paints are from my sister. I've mentioned her before. She went through a period of time where she just loved buying craft supplies and then was suddenly over it and realized her entire garage is craft supplies. So here we go. Whew, I'm excited. Okay, so the first thing I got was some baby wipes, which it seems like a lot of people, Tim Holtz, a lot of them really use these with paints I don't know, maybe it just spreads easier, not really sure. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is pick our colors. So I'm going to select some colors that I think go together, kind of the same feel. This is a laid back lilac, hey, I already like that. Vanilla custard, also like that. And mushy, mushy peas. Some of my paints, you will notice, look quite messy, and it's not because I paint that often, it's because my kids paint often. And they love these because the jars are so colorful. They're plastic, by the way. Kid-friendly in that way. Kid-friendly, not in any other way. The other thing you'll need to begin is a brand new shirt or dress, because I found any time that I paint or use ink sprays, inevitably, it's with brand new clothes on. So I feel like that's a prerequisite. Okay, um, one tip that I learned from Diane, if you haven't seen some of her videos, check them out, they're really hypnotic. Um, she likes to look at her journal pages or tags in sections. So what she'll do is take a color and you basically smear that color, not all over, although you can, but in blocks. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then she takes her extra and then she just like willy nilly does this thing. So I'm trying to act casual, like I'm also an artist. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. Let's get some of the laid back lilac. I'm glad there are witnesses here for all this. And she also does this like fold thing where she just keeps using stuff. So we're gonna do that too. And then we're gonna just pick another part of our squares. Ooh, that is a bold color. And we're gonna just swipe it around. I really struggle with random. I don't do random that well. She also does this, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that too. Um, I don't do random. I feel like my things always look like they're trying too hard. So I'm trying to be more like loosey goosey, just like let it flow. I'm cool. There, see, sections. We're, we're kind of doing the section thing. Now let's try the custard. I feel like threes, everything goes in threes. You had too many colors, look at the kids. See that, that's what happens. But you know what, it doesn't matter, random. We're going for random. So we're gonna keep it. Take another wipe here. So this is gonna have a little bit of pink or red. Who could say? And we're gonna just, I'm gonna do that in the middle. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Add that there. And don't worry, if you don't like it, you just throw it away. But now there are witnesses, so 
we're just gonna have to really make this good. <laughs> You're here, you're along for the ride. This is the internet. Nothing ever goes away on the internet. So if this isn't amazing on my first try, it's gonna be embarrassing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, now that we have our pretty base layers, that's a different color than we started out. Um, take some stencils, I love stencils. Um, this is a cute little net got polka dots. I love polka dots on everything. Um, and she likes to do a lot of layers of stencils, so that's just what I'm going to do. Polka dots. Can't go wrong with that. Tim Holtz. Love. Okay, now what she does, I'm embracing this whole thing, she kind of adds the same colors ooh, over other colors. Does it, well, I don't know if, no, if that made sense, but you take basically the same color palette, but you layer them in different ways and directions. So we're gonna put it here, maybe for this, this might work better. Cause I think I'm squishing out some baby wipe on mine. Okay, I'm gonna do this. With confidence and nonchalance. I'm going to do that. Try to pick it up gracefully. Oh yes, there we go. Polka dots here, polka dots up there. I'll use some more polka dots. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna take our next, well, I don't even have a spot for that. We're gonna take our next fun stencil. This is a leaf. Let's do some purple with a leaf. Oh yes, nice messy business. I'm just gonna do like that. Again, I feel like the more randomly graceful the better sometimes i feel like the best way to do random is to just like throw paint or glitter like from a distance because i tend to overthink a lot of my designs i don't know about you it's hard it's hard to just like let go and let the paint i don't know just do its own thing let the paint be itself you know what i'm saying stop telling the paint what to be okay so here and see, the reason she does this is there's so much paint you can get from the same dauber or wipe versus just wiping it off. She just basically uses it until it feels like it's running out. So that's what we're doing. Okay, there's that. It's kind of crazy. This kind of looks a little like 80s to me. It's fine, 80s are coming back. And then let's take another one. How about some, some words? Oh yeah, some text. Never read this whole thing, doesn't matter. We just want some some letters on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take that green again. Another new dauber here. These paints are nice, I have to say. Um, one of the things that is nice about it, if you haven't used these paints, and I'll put links to these paints in my description if you wanna check some out. But the nice thing is they're not overly wet, if that makes sense they tend to dry pretty quick. And so you can layer on top of the thing you just painted, as you can see, pretty quickly. Not all paint is that flexible. So I think that's kind of cool about it. I also really, really love the colors in her collection. I think are really bright and happy. And honestly, I just like having the jars around. I feel like Scrooge McDuck, like you just wanna go swimming in all of the paint jars. Again, they're plastic, so you don't have to worry about them falling and breaking. I have a picture posted on my Facebook and Instagram of my two-year-old building towers out of these very same paints. All of the kids love to build towers with these paints because they are very colorful. And again, they fall over and nothing breaks. So everyone's a winner. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of that. Ooh, yes, fancy, fancy. Now, I feel like I should add some stamps. Hold on, I'll get those. Hello there. Okay, so here I have lots of fun mixed media type stamps. I think some of these are actually from uh, Diet. Diane, is it also Diane? Dina Wakely. Oh, Dina Wakely, yeah, she also does really cool stuff. Check out her videos too, they're amazing. So I'm gonna take some stamps 
and some Distress Oxide Black Soot. And I'm just gonna stamp some things here. Kinda wanna do it on this one. So what do you think? What do you think about the tag so far? It'd be a cute bookmark, right, don't you think? I love giving bookmarks as gifts to people. I also have another bookmark video. If you wanna see how to make some out of scrap paper, check that out up there. Um, they're fun to give as Christmas gifts with like my Christmas cards to my book clubs. I just like making them. They're fun. There's so many things you could do with a bookmark, you know what I mean? And everybody loves a bookmark, even if you don't read. Okay, so I did some circles there. I'm gonna do some other fun circles. Oh, I love mixed media stamps. Another thing is like stamping off the page. That's like the, you know, the cool kids, the artists, the like real artists do. <laughs> there you go. I like it. Then, this is messy business. Wow. Okay, let's do on the other one. Set that one aside. I was thinking some leaves maybe. Here's a cute leaf. I feel like this is from Dana Reevely as well. I know she has a stencil with this too. Um, let's see, maybe off to the side. How can we make this look organic, you know what I mean? This is kind of fun. Oh man, messy business, for sure. Okay. It's a cute stamp. Super cute. I love black on top of like really bright colors. It's nice. Okay, now what else should we do? How about, you know what else we're gonna do? I love this stencil. In fact, I'm giving away one of these stencils in the giveaway at the end of the video, but this is cute. I use it a lot because, well, as you can tell, I use it a lot, but it's great for 12 by 12 layouts too. So I'm gonna do this with some black. You know, I'm just gonna use black ink pad. See how that works. Getting a little wild here. Okay, so I want to put this maybe off the side. Just love those. Oh man, that's so cute. So glad this is turning out so cute. Again, the awkwardness of something that just looks terrible. Like, haha, no, it's great. I don't want it, but it's great. I like, I like that you like it. Yeah, awkward. Okay, so here's this. And I think for the finishing touch, I saw, look at this cute stencil. How cute is that with the faces? Um, I've had limited success with this one. I think with this, I'm gonna use the stamp ink just so it doesn't get too smushy with the face. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had that? I've had that sometimes with text where if I use paint, maybe I just press too hard, I don't know. Again, I'm not a professional. Um, but I think sometimes it gets a little smushed versus with ink or like a spray, ink spray. Okay, so let's try, let's see how this looks. Oh yes, darling. Oh, that is fabulous, I'm gonna do another one. No, you know what, I don't know if I have room to do another one. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Add another face here. Oops, you didn't see that. Just kind of my dauber slid under my stencil. It happens. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is finish off with some text. Okay, this is some text actually found on clearance from Tim Holtz, and it's a lot of fun because it just has a bunch of words, some with black writing on top of white, others with the white text on top of black. Super cute. So let's do some kind of vague, philosophical jibber jabber. Um, let's see. Oh, because, how about that? I'm just gonna say that. Mm, let's put it up here. Just because. So there's my first tag, done, nailed it. Like I say that a lot. Oh my gosh, my kids love that show. <laughs> that show. 
Nailed it. It's something. I don't even bake, but we do end up watching it a lot. Okay, so let me grab my other tag. And for this one, how should we end this one? Should we do, let's do some more circles. When in doubt, circle it out. That's something I'm working on right now. See if it takes off. Kind of my stamp thing. Okay. Okay, I'll do some more circles. Oh yes, I just love it. I love mixed media. I'm trying to become more comfortable, as I said, with random and just using my feelings. Is that something you struggle with as well? And do you have any tips? Ooh, here's a fun one. Okay, there's just so many circles to love. Do you have any tips? Do you like mixed media too? What's, what is your biggest challenge with this kind of style? Are you like me where you just struggle to control the design too much? Or do you just not like a mess? Because you know what, that's also a valid concern. That is why there are craft mats. Game changer right there. Okay, so I think this one's about done. Let's add some more text for that. How about inspire? So cute and cherish. How can you not inspire, cherish, good times. And then let's finish this off with some more, how about some pearl drops? How about some Nouveau drops? I also have a video about Nouveau drops. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to kind of see some different techniques for these, check out that video as well. Add some Nouveau drops here. These are always fun. Adds a little extra something without it necessarily being too bulky, especially if you want to be able to use this in a book. Flowers, charms, maybe not the best for this. Love it. This can never be duplicated. One of a kind, most definitely. Okay, so here are my two tags made with the same color palette and really similar stencils. You could add some ribbon up at the top once it dries. You could even staple some ribbon or fibers up there, sew some things in, fabric, shreds, things like that. Cute, love it. This is another one I wanted to share that I made recently. This was also a stencil. And then I added gesso along with the paints here. And I actually sprayed some of this with water because <laughs> the stencil I was using, remember how I said kids and paint? Well, they had used the stencil. They don't always wash the stencils. So when I put this down to put my white gesso paint, I had red now underneath my stencil. So I sprayed it with water and it actually made a cool tie dye effect. So, you know, you can experiment with paints and mixed media. Try different things, different mediums, whether it's glitter or adhesive glue spray, water, whatever you want to do and see how that transforms your paints and inks. Um, now, let's talk about the giveaway. Like enough with this. We've seen your tags. What are you going to give me for free? Okay, so I thought for the next giveaway at 750 subscribers, I will pick a winner from the comments here in this post. So to be entered, comment in this post, subscribe, ring the bell, and share on your Facebook page this video. So that's it. That's how you, all you got to do for the giveaway. Here's what's, here's what's up for grabs, my friends. I am going to be sending this lovely mixed media care package starter pack beginners collection i don't know that just makes it sound fancier okay so you're gonna get five brand new dilutions acrylic paints lovely but wait there's more act now and you will also receive a pack of journaling tags and tim holt's ideology those quotes i just used in it for you right there and then 
Oh no, oh no, my Tower of Paints. Okay, and then more stickers because I like stickers. Then how about a book full of inspiration from actual professionals who know what they're doing. Adventures in mixed media. Let the journey begin. And then my favorite stencil I talked about. Well, my friend, this is also for you. So please enter 750 subscribers. I will pick a winner and I will mail this out to that special lucky person. Thank you all for joining me today. Let me know what you thought of my tags. Again, I don't know. This is, this is kind of entry level for me as well. So any advice, tips, how to use these paints? What do you think of these paints? What's your favorite color? Um, thanks for joining me today. Check it out and try it out. Let's make some stuff. Bye.